Good evening, today is the 4th of October. I'm recording the readings for today, the Proper of Saints, 4th of October 2021. Unfortunately, it will not be uploaded on YouTube. They've banned me for and struck me off for a week. You can't break their um, community rules according to the World Health Organization on the no, unmentioned um, something I disagree with if it's un, untested and uh, unapproved I'm being banned so in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen today is the proper of saints for Saint Francis of Assisi I'm going to be doing the readings for his feast day and memorial and then I will record his life as well, according to the um, book that I've typed it up from. St. Francis of Assisi was born in 1181. He was the son of a wealthy merchant. Francis gave up everything to obey the words of the Lord. Leave all and follow me. He lived in complete poverty, preaching the gospel. Others came to join him and they lived by a simple rule based on the gospel. From them grew the Franciscan order, which spread rapidly during his own lifetime, though he ceased to be its leader and he left its administration to others. His life was a putting into practice of the Beatitudes and was marked by faith, joy, service of others, prayer and love of all created things. He died in 1226 and if you went to church today in St Gregory's in South Middlesex, South Rislip, Middlesex, you could get your pets blessed during the day by taking them to the priest and he would bless them. Maybe your priests would also bless your animals. Uh, Francis, the man of God, left his home behind, abandoned his inheritance and became poor and penniless. But the Lord raised him up. The Collect. O oh God, by whose gift St. Francis was conformed to Christ in poverty and humility, Grant that by walking in Francis' footsteps, we may follow your Son, and through joyful charity, come to be united with you, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. The first reading is from the letter of St. Paul, to the Galatians chapter 6 14 to 18 as for me the only thing I can boast about is the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ through whom the world is crucified to me and I to the world it does not matter if a person is circumcised or not what matters is for him to become an altogether new creature, peace and mercy to all who follow this rule, who form the Israel of God. I want no more trouble from anybody after this. The marks on my body are those of Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, my brothers and sisters. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm is 15, 1 to 2, 5, 7 to 8, 11, and the response is verse 5. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Preserve me, God. I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. 
O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight, since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand happiness for ever. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for revealing the mysteries of the kingdom to mere children. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew eleven twenty five to 30. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus exclaimed, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what it pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, just as no one knows the Father except the Son, and to those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labour and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we bring you these offerings, O Lord, we pray that we may be rightly disposed for the celebration of the mystery of the cross, which St. Francis so ardently embraced through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, through these holy gifts which we have received, that imitating the charity and apostolic zeal of St. Francis, we may experience the effects of your love and spread them everywhere for the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you so much for listening, even though it's going to be in a week's time. God bless you all. I'm sending you God's peace in abundance. And may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. And once again, thank you for taking the trouble to listen.